But the story is they're, they're coming home and they're being told over the intercom system, all these GIs coming home, hey, don't talk about any of this. Don't share any of this. We know it, it has been an ordeal. But everybody at home has been through an ordeal. Let, let's just not talk about it. Yeah. They've been through enough. With God, there is always more. More love, more life, more freedom. Welcome to Zoe's Exploring More with Michael Thompson. C.S. Lewis once wrote, Our Heavenly Father has provided many delightful ends for us along our journey, but He takes great care to see that we do not mistake any of them for home. Join me and the team as we explore the kingdom together discovering the deep truths and offering encouragement for the journey. There is always more. Welcome to the Exploring More podcast. Michael Thompson hanging out with S.J. Jennings into October now. And, uh, and yeah, just on the other side of a major men's event. Come yeah. on, man. Another yeah. Heart of Warrior encounter. I think this is like 30... 33 events in 15 some years. This was the 15 year anniversary. Yeah. Started in 2008. And we thought that, uh, you know, there is some, there's some content and some substance to being with these men for three and a half days and 10 sessions and a lot of time alone with God and a bunch of other things at the encounter weekend that the final session is kind of a commissioning and reentry. Yeah. And we thought, you know, these are probably good. To just talk about for men in general, not just reentering their home fronts from um, a conference like that, but um, yeah, just in general. So yeah. I, I think we're going to look at some of the reentry pieces that that I get to talk about in the final session and tell some stories, mm -hmm. um, the good, the bad, and the ugly of yeah. why these have become policies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for reentry. Um, but before we do that. Uh, want to want to just let you take a look at uh, at this real quick. Um, it was up at one of the uh, old Top Gun events uh, in the mountains up in Virginia, and I remember just really feeling like I was in the presence of so many men that had such a connection with God. That I, you know, what's wrong with me? Why why hasn't God ever talked to me? Like all these guys are talking about this great experience. All that was in my head was. God, I need you. To, I need to hear you. I need to hear your voice. I just need a light or something from you. And I look down in the stream. There's literally a yellow flashlight sitting in the bottom of the stream. I, I'm not making this up. And and I sort of made this condition with myself: if I pick up that flashlight, and it works. This is real, dude. I swear. I picked up that flashlight, flipped it. It was a pelican light covered in moss. It it shone a light as clear as could be. And and I kind of heard, felt, experienced. Um, just I hear you see you. And I, I've got something for you. It was, it was just amazing. <laughs> Welcome back yeah. to the Exploring More podcast. Talk no, about re-entry. You have no idea how much we've been subjected to this music <laughs> in the last 24 hours. So I have this, I have this fantasy fetish that if, if I was a Boston Red Sox mm -hmm. and I'm in Fenway and I'm at my first at bat and I have walk-up music... This is me coming from the on deck circle to the plate. Yeah. Don't ask are me why. Are you just walking or are you? Okay. Okay. So they can hear so us. So we're going to play this throughout the rest of this That's this, great. We'll this just show. talk over it. Yeah. We'll get a little louder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get it off. How do I shut it off? off. Okay. Uh, so are you just walking up to the plate or do you, or do you have some kind of a, you know, a ritual attitude that? strut that you have? Like. You know, no, I think the song. No, no, no. That's anything. that looked like Conor McGregor right yeah. there <laughs> when he's coming into the ring. He does. Um, that's no. what I'm talking about. Would you do no, something no, like that? No, no, no. Baseball players don't do that. They just <clears throat> they just kind of let their let their. Now they have a lot of things that they got to do. Some of them. You talk about. Oh it, man. You know. You know. I have a little search YouTube for Nomar Gar Garcia Para. Well, you know, I have Nomar. a little bit of OCD, but goodness, yeah. I mean, they got to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, on each. And pop their helmet or whatever yeah. they do with their bat. Yeah, man, it's it's ritual. Yeah. And the, 
There's difference between there's not much difference between ritual and superstition, you know. So no. anyway, <clears throat> not at all. That's why. But those... you're you're just walking up. You're yeah, and then slugging a... first swing. You know, wham. Well, I was probably a third swing kind of baseball player through pitches. through high school. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> swung at the ones I shouldn't have. And I like to crowd the plate personally. That's shocking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's your, that's your mode, man. Get in there. I, I, and dig I just in. stare at the pitcher. Yeah, you're just showing him kind of pivot your foot in there. Mm-hmm. I'm digging in. That's, That's just, right. This uh, is my home plate. You must not have come across too many Nolan Ryans. No, I didn't. Just love the chin didn't. music. So, <laughs> which is so. Let me just turn this whole thing into okay. into what we're talking about because there's some things you do and there's some things you don't do. Right. And and you kind of learn some of those through experience. And so when we're uh, at the end of the encounter weekend. Um, you know, I I think there's a lot of context in that weekend that a man would need to actually even bolster these, and mm-hmm. and, and they become more and more and more important. Yeah. And um and so, as we as we move to the last session, yeah, I've got my notes here. I thought we'd just kind of move through some things and um and yeah and and, and have some conversation about why that's really important. You right. Know, why is that significant? Yeah, it's kind of our version of um, you know, there's there's reasons that things are in here. Um some of them are, well, they're they're things we want to reiterate from, yeah, the, weekend. from the weekend. Galatians 5:1, I can right. see across the table here. Yep. You want to reiterate things like that. But also it's because yeah, a guy got taken out because he went home and did whatever. And and, and that guy so it, I'm so, that guy. I'm that on, guy. On several yeah, of these. Also, so crowding the plate. It makes me know, think of in. Uh, in the fire department, you know, and in I know in the military too, uh, my buddy Doug Miller told me about the the in the different manuals that you have. Right. You know, the instruction manuals if you're going to work on the flight line, let's say, you know, there's some letters in the manuals that are written in red. Yeah. And it's they're in red because a guy spilled blood because he did mm-hmm. this thing that you're not supposed to do, you yeah. know, and maybe got killed. So what we're hopeful for, we can we can write some of these in red and hopefully right. fewer guys when they come back from a weekend will get killed when they get it home. It makes me think of a sign, you know, that, that that's up on, let's say you're 10 floors up and you've kind of got this balcony. Don't stand on the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> so they're kind of common sense, but yeah. for some reason yeah. – you got to have a sign because right. either right. <laughs> somebody did or... Don't touch the third rail. You, yeah. know, you know, well, someone did. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on this side. Mm-hmm. So anyway, some of that is yeah. uh, is part of this. And um, I think, you know, the whole weekend and, and honestly, Zoe is, um, by the way, October 10th is 1010. Yes. And, and Zoe... Um, derives its yeah, name. Yeah, founding, the foundational verse. Yes, yeah. it's from John 10, John 10, 10, 10, and the word zoe that is is that word life that Jesus uses when yeah, he talks abundant. about, I came that they might have life and have it to the full. Mm-hmm. So and today a, is John, t- is not John, t- it's October 10th. <laughs> it's John 10, 10 day. day. <laughs> so we should say? do that. You should yeah. petition that. Yeah. All right. October 10th is John 10, 10 day. We should, but, par- we should have a party today. Yeah. It's like October 30th, you know, in a couple of weeks. Is Reformation Day. Yeah, 31st. Oh, 31st. Yeah, it is Halloween. Yeah. yeah Martin Luther. Oh, I thought it was 30. Martin Luther was going on his way to a Halloween party. And no, it, that's not That is it not was. true. So, <laughs> and he had the 95 thesis in his yeah, pocket. Right. But yeah, so Wittenberg Castle. That's that's one of my favorite stories, man. Mm-hmm. Of, of it all, is actually of the, the 31st. Christmas, it's the 31st. No, I thought it was the 30th. Huh. Yeah. Well, we and now we're going to have to wish we had a computer that we could look at really quick. <laughs> So, Caleb, look that up, would you please? Uh, 31st. 31st. All right. You were right. Good job. I passed my church history class in in seminary. All um, Saints Day. Yeah. It's the day before, I think. I think that's the 31st. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, um, yeah. And, and the whole, where I was going with the John 10, 10 and, mm. and life to the full. And, you know, the weekend is is what we've learned over over years over dec over a decade plus of what is it to walk in freedom in the kingdom yeah and we ask audiences lots of places on in home games and away games we ask people you know um, a couple questions you know what are the odds that you've interpreted your life accurately and um, if the offer of the gospel is freedom 
then why aren't more of us free? Right. And those two questions are really linked. So Mm -hmm. in some contextual sense, I I just want to put those questions out there because Galatians 5.1, it is for freedom that Christ has come to set us free. So, you know, um, that, that is way more loaded than I, than I knew. Um, I never served in the military. I never was in a front lines position, you know, uh, I, I can see those stories and see those films and you hear it. I, the Eisenhower quote, you know, mm-hmm. freedom is not long entrusted to the weak or the timid. That's Eisenhower. That's an experienced General, man uh, saying that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and some of my research and some of my um, journey with, with friends, especially older brothers in the kingdom, um, I was fascinated to find that it was the colonels, the admirals, the generals, in World War II were the pi- privates and corporals in World War I. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, all of those guys had mm-hmm. field experience. Yep. They had opportunities to earn their stripes, to see battle. You know, so these 17, 18, and, and 20-year-olds that are signing up in the 40s for World War II, you know, they're they're signing up out of a just a gusto of patriotism and fighting for my country. Loyalty. And and we've been attacked. And so, yeah. you know, here here we go. And and literally we saw that on nine eleven. Yeah. You know, in our, our time. And and yet they're being they're gonna be trained by veterans mm-hmm. of World War One. Yeah. The old guys, right? Yeah. Who were probably in their mid forties. Yeah. So it's it's my <laughs> so time. so at our weekends, you know, I'm not, we, we aren't perfect soldiers. As Paul says to Timothy, you know, be a good soldier. Don't get caught up in civilian affairs, you know, but to be engaged and and to live in, in, in this way, he says to Timothy. So I think that's part of our weekend is, you know, bringing some training experiences and an invitation to men who are enlisted in some ways in the kingdom. They're enlisted. No doubt. They just, don't know how it works, aren't sure who they are. And, and so anyway, that's, that's kind of the way the weekend unfolds with hopefully um, hearing God, experiencing God and, 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 and being loved, literally being loved by God in, in that weekend. One of the things that I love about what you said was the idea that, you know, here's these guys who were 17, 18, 19, 20 years old in World War I. Mm-hmm. Now they're 40, 45, 50 years old in World War right. II. And they can relate to the privates who are coming in that are 18 years old because they were those guys. So when I'm at the weekend, I think about the first time I was in the seat, yeah, that this first timer that is at the weekend for the mm-hmm. first time you know, I remember being in that seat in 2008 and not even really fully understanding what you guys were talking about. I just yeah. wanted to hear more of it, you know. And so being able to bridge that experiential gap, right? I mean, we're veterans now in this deal but and yet still receiving. But we can remember what it was like to be in that seat for the first time. Yeah. Trying to drink out of a fire hose. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's, there's just a lot, there's a lot to recover from. There's a lot to, to understand. And and there's a lot to, um, kind of add to your ability as a man or woman, but as a man to navigate this landscape well. And, and that, and that kind of brings me back to some things that, that were after the experience, you know, we were talking about this the other day. Another World War II example, um, our friend, shout out to Nita Andrews, was talking about Al's dad. Yeah. And he's, he's, they're literally coming back from Europe Mm -hmm. and on the boat. War's over. War's over. Yep. Some troops are, are, are left there for, you know, kind of the policing of it all. But, Mm -hmm. but, but the story is they're, they're coming home and they're being told over the intercom system, all these GIs coming home, hey, don't talk about any of this. Don't share any of this. We know it, it has been an ordeal, but 
everybody at home's been through an ordeal. Let, let's just not talk about it. Yeah. They've been through enough. It's not going to be helpful for you to share the traumatic experiences you had. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that is, um, you know, not what we want <laughs> for, no. the, for the men of the weekend who have in some ways gone to battle and fought some battles that they didn't know how to fight when they were eight. Well, many six, of them, in the, when they're in that seat for the first time at the encounter, yeah. they don't even know they're in a war. Yes. And until we kind of un, I mean, you know, unveil some things and then it's <laughs> you can't not see it. Of course. In your own story. And in, but, and in, but in imagine running. enlisting yeah. at 18 years old, you know, for whatever you're enlisting for. Oh, and then finding out, wait, we're at war. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's kind of what some of these guys are. That's how it was for me. Yeah. And I think the training that we got, you know, prior to that, you know, had to be, yeah, kind of the gospel of good manners. You know, not not the invitation to enlist. Mm -hmm. So that's just all part of, you know, what we're trying to um, in some ways. Yeah, we, we talk about orientation a lot, you mm -hmm. know, and. And 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 to invite men to shed this this disorientation through the process of experiencing mm -hmm. the truth for themselves, because the truth is supposed to. Here we are back at freedom, right? You're yep. supposed to know the truth, and whether it's a person or a principle, I tend to think it's more of a person. Yeah. But there are truths too that if you practice them, not just knowledge of them, but if you can know them in an experiential way, they become part of uh, setting you, yeah, part of the process of being free. Mm. So I'm not free from gravity, but I don't test it from 10 stories up. Right. You know, right. so you've, you've learned enough about I, it to I'm, know that's not a good idea. Yeah. I'm not free from fire will burn you. Ice will freeze you, but I'm, but I, I learn how to, you know, hopefully bring some sense of responsibility mm. to this space. So I think this is, this has its, that, that, that's another piece of this that, you know, the reentry, the encouragement of going, now you're going home. Mm -hmm. It's not, don't tell anybody about this, but there is a practice to, to some of this and, and wanting men to, to be, um, yeah, to to guard their freedom, to protect their freedom. It, I mean, I remember going on some mission trips in high school and in, and and later in college and 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 even later. You know, you went. People didn't. You know, you want to come home and tell them about it, right? And and don't be surprised if they're not as engaged in the life changing event that you were. Right. So that I want to start with that one, because um, there's do's and don'ts, right? So. Don't go home and just gather the family and say, hey, dad had a very important weekend. I had an encounter Honey, with God. Yes, I, I, yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. And dad's going to be new. Dad's improved. Everything's going to be different now. Everything's going to be different now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so why is that in red? Why is that in red? Right, Doug Miller, yeah. Colonel <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Doug Miller. Why is yeah. that in red in the uh, field manual? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I think because uh, yeah, your your wife, your kids, um, your coworkers, your employ, whatever it is. If you say that, that that doesn't mean the same thing to them that it means to you. That everything's going to be different. And I'm you know? afraid in my story, bro, they, they've they heard that before. Sure. It's yeah. really a setup. Yeah. What we – what I think about is uh, I think about um, um, Braveheart. Oh, yeah. You know, um, what do you want us to do? Just be yourselves, mm -hmm. right? And um, so if, if you've – you know, come to a place through the encounter weekend, and maybe it's your first one or maybe it's your fifth one, where you're more your true self. Yeah. Well, just go be that. Yeah. You don't have to make declarations. You don't so, have to make statements. 
You know, yeah. here's, here's our new uh, mission statement as a family. You right. Know, we're all exactly. going to operate out of our true self. Yeah. Or taking a know? talk that you just heard <laughs> and, and, and creating family devotions now, you know, yeah. to yeah. Uh, to unpack yeah. all that. So and, and it sounds like these are just, you know, examples we're pulling off the top of our head. These, these are things that we either we've done or we've mm-hmm. talked. We've had to uh, counsel a guy after he almost blew his marriage up because he did this when he got home. So, yeah, these are real examples. Yeah. But, yeah. Honey, you need to go now to yeah. the women's thing. Oh, yeah. Robin loves telling that story. Yeah. So how do you move from the announcement on the ship, don't talk about it, mm. to, you know, home the home front and, and talking about it? Mm-hmm. You know, because there's a difference between making an announcement or a declaration of we're going to be different. We're going to have family devotions. We're going to do this. And you guys need to know about the enemy and what he's doing to you, you know, and all, all of that versus. So I'm not, we're not saying not talk about it. We're saying not announce it and, and declare right. some, um, you know, chore list, you know, that, that you're now going to sheriff and implement, implement and, the, and the, police. The victory to me. The victory in this in this context is this example that we're talking about. The victory would be, the touchdown would be, if your wife or one of your kids says to you, "And Dad, you, you're really listening to me." Yeah. Or Dad, you're, you're speaking really more kindly to me, and you might have to wait. Yeah. Two months, maybe, to hear something like that. That's it. You know, but it's being able to be settled. Yeah. Enough in in the recognition that you know you've got more freedom. You're working on some uh, some things out. You know maybe yeah. they've been locked away in your own heart to be more free and operating more freely means you know God sees that you're doing yeah. things differently. And then the day will come. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, hopefully, and 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 we've seen it happen mm-hmm. enough to to really support this idea. Versus, honey, come, tell tell me tell me your story. I want to. I'm going to listen differently now. Because I learned to listen at the encounter weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very so, different so thing, So right? when they notice that, that's when, um, back to the talking about it, it's it, it's not, we're not saying don't talk about it. We're just saying don't talk about it the Monday night or the Sunday night that you get home. So I love that, the way you painted that, um, because when they notice that, that's that moment where, okay, um, and we're going to give them this this next big clue here in a minute. You walk with God. Should I tell him? Mm-hmm. Should I tell him what happened to me? Mm-hmm. Or do I just say thank you? Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure how God is going to steer you, but mm-hmm. that would be the opportunity two months later yeah. when, when you know, one of your kids says to mom, gosh, dad, I was with dad yesterday. He's really, and then she tells you and you just smile say, man, that's so good to hear. And then if she says, so what's up? Now you're being invited to tell. I'm so glad you asked. Now you're being encouraged to, well, you remember that conference that I went to a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago? There was a session on fighting for the hearts of your kids. And I realized I've, I haven't. Mm. And Sally and John and, you know, I don't listen well. I'm always there with a advice or a lecture and i realized you know they, what you need to do they don't want a lecture yeah. they, they just they want my attention so <clears throat> you say, home run you know yeah, boom man. that's uh, freedom walk up music that's freedom um, <laughs> <laughs> so, right yeah. so anyway i i think that's 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 just one of our uh, our field manuals in in reentry i think the other one i just touched on and we've got a few more minutes before the break is the answer to all the questions is walk with God. Right. And we say, all right, if we, as we say that, if we say it on Thursday, we find that 250, 350 guys are like, really? Yeah. That's, that's all you got. When we say that on Sunday, this, they just like, yep. Nods. Yep. So we're reminding them of, of, of really what the weekend's about. It's not, it's, it's not to stay there. It's to go home yeah. 
you're learning how to hear from God. You're learning how to ask God questions. You're learning how to engage in that. And now in that training space, which is very live, it's live ammo. It's, it's, there's a lot of battles being fought oh, yeah. over Crossfire, the weekend that were lost unexploded 20 ordinance. years ago, 30 <laughs> years ago. And, yeah, and you're, and you're reentering a battlefield in which it may be 30 years later, but you, you can pull your eight year old with Jesus, with the help of God, you, you pull your eight year old self out of there. You, 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 the 14 year old, the six year old, those places when in your timeline, when you were hurt yeah, and it, and back to Tommy boy, it's not really funny. And you, and it left a mark. It, mm. it, it, it left an effect uh, on you. And so learning to walk with God, I, I think that's the greatest phrase when I think of um, give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he'll eat for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And so, walking with God is is in that context for sure. Yeah. Do you think most men have just been handed fish in yeah. the context of their journey with God? Yeah, I I think you know yes, and 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 church not by fault, but church is kind of set up that way. Mm -hmm. Come each week and get your groceries. Mm -hmm. Eat them <laughs> you know, while you're here. Yeah, and the payment sometimes is, you know, a poke. Uh, and we know you're going to burn some of these or you're not going to, you know, utilize them. Mm -hmm. or you're, So, I, I, yeah, that's a great question. Um, but, you know, what if, you know, what if the other days of the week I, I knew, I knew where the distribution center was. I knew, I knew where, where instruction and encouragement and most of all, you know, most of all love, you yeah. know, where, um, where getting, getting regular, um, yeah. Uh, I was going to say installments, deliveries, you know, cause now you can buy your food, <laughs> hello fresh and all that just, but yeah, you, you get to, you get to buy, you, you get to engage, I would say not buy, but it, it's been paid for. It's just, are you, are you signed up for uh, regular nourishment, what your soul, what C.S. Lewis mm -hmm. says you're meant, the fuel you're meant to run mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. is the love and life and presence of God. So, so therefore it's the answer. He's the answer to yeah. all the questions is walking with God and helping a man over that weekend, learn how to do that, learn how to fish is, is equipping him for the battle and the love story in which he finds himself. It makes me think of uh, something. Yeah. G Gary said it. I've said it. You've said it. And um, many times at the weekends, you know, we, we get, kind of get into this mindset that, okay, we're going to go to the mountaintop. We're going to have an encounter with God. And then somehow we're supposed to live off of the fumes or the memory of how that tasted for another year. Like church, you said, you know, oftentimes it's go on Sunday and I'm supposed and to survive, survive on that for yeah. six days, you know, and then I can go to church again. And one thing that we've said is like, this is your new normal now. Yeah. This is, this is not just an encounter. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah. And, I, and I've said this, you can take the mountaintop with you is the way I've said it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, oh, that's this way is better. an That's way better than Gary. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell him he said that. Um, but yeah, the idea that you're going to go and have this encounter with God and that's the only time that you can do it. No, the secret sauce is like we're teaching you how to do yeah. this at the weekend yeah. and then continue to do it and it's, and, on a daily basis. And so there, that's why we don't want you to announce this at home. Right. Just But, but do start it. to practice this <laughs> right. at home. Right. And, and it's not just behaviors. That's, that's, it's not doing something different than yeah, you did. This is it's, not behavior management. It's your different. Mm -hmm. You're different. That's the, that's what you're bringing home is, is a different man. So it doesn't need an announcement. They should feel it. Yeah. If that's, if it's true. You know, it's not just the weekend mountaintop experience. We, we want you to understand like we've come to understand you know, you can have encounter with encounters with God mm -hmm. at any time. Mm -hmm. Is that what 
Jesus is talking about in John 10.10 10, when he's talking about the abundant life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how is – so how is that's it different? A, that's a borderline rhetorical, but I, it but, is. but I didn't I didn't see that or know that right. 15 some years ago. I mean ago. you I don't didn't. have to be a Christian long to find John 10.10, 10, right, yeah. and hear about this abundant life. Well, much like Galatians 5.1, if Christ came to set us free, why aren't more of us free? Mm-hmm. Well, if he came to give us an abundant life, why aren't more of us living abundantly? Yeah, yeah. I think of the um, uh, just the reference is, but I think of um, pray without ceasing. If that verse said, "Hey, talk with God continually, walk with God," that's my paraphrase of that verse. Right. He's there with you. Talk with him. Why wouldn't you talk to him? Talk with him. Listen. Mm-hmm. Listen to what he says. Mm-hmm. Invite him in. Ask him questions. I mean, pray without ceasing just seems like it's man in this space of, you know, kind of submitting your your list right. and back away mm-hmm. and, and he'll see if he can get to it. Right. So, so hope he don't hit me with a ruler. Yeah, uh-huh. in the hand, I, back I hope of the I'm, hand while yeah, I'm doing I'm that. Yeah, I hope I'm qualified or good yeah. enough. You know, prayers of supplication and 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 asking for things, asking, seeking, knocking. I'm all I'm all on board with that. Mm-hmm. You know, got got a list of people that I'm praying for them things. But, you know, when I think about the Trinity needing fathering, God, Father, how do I do this? What what should I do? And I think of uh, a warrior king like Jesus. Jesus, you know how how do I do this? Yeah, where, Jesus, my friend. What's this? What what, what's, do, I what do I need this? to do here? Yeah. You know, especially in elements of warfare. Mm-hmm. You know, what am I up against here? Mm-hmm. What don't I see? What don't I know? Mm-hmm. I'll just talk to you the other day about. Um, yeah, one of the things that you know, with the help of a, my counselor, just God, what do I not know about you that you want me to know? Mm-hmm. And I've just been sitting in that for a few days and now almost a week or so. And I, man, I've never thought to pray that, Mm -hmm. you know, so again, here it is in the pray category. Does that sound like a, that doesn't sound like a prayer that I've known. So to step into asking God questions, that's, that's one of the ways that I pray. And, and then there's other times, Holy Spirit, you know, my, third and maybe one of my favorite members of the Trinity of, mm-hmm. of, uh, depends on the moment Yeah, of guiding me and counseling me and teaching me and instructing me, you know, hands on, you know, hand over hand, as Greg says, mm-hmm. to where, you know, the spirit is, it, it has permission. I'm, I'm consenting. I know I'm in training and I know some of that training involves healing. So, you know, like I, I wrote in King Me, I, I might be in you know, healing space in the morning, training space in the afternoon, mm-hmm. fathering in in the in the in the early evening, and you know, I, who knows what right uh, by the evening. And so, is God involved in my life? You know, I I don't say tongue in cheek. I say all day, every day. Yeah. Now, my desire is to be in tune and in step and in alignment and, and awake to that. So when I'm with Mike Glenn this morning and we're working on the, uh, the elder sage field manual, is God there with us? Yeah. Are we in his presence? Is it, so I'm not asking for that. <laughs> <laughs> we're acknowledging that it's, it's, but you're it's, asking for guidance. We're declaring you're creating that. Yeah, a resource as, and, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you know, not every great idea is mine. Mm-hmm. Not every great idea is his. He, he lives in me. Oh, he and I are one, you know, not every dumb idea is somebody else's fault. I, I have, I have some, but that anything that's a dumb idea, that's not per se me, but more the false self creature right. that's at work in me. I mean, if anything is moving and inviting and wooing me to sin, it's either in this unholy Trinity, something is something in the world mm-hmm. has given this some sin, presence, shame, guilt, yes. so, diminishment, all of that. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's foul spirits or whether it's my history and story or whether yeah. it's my false self or all the above, 
depending on how strong, you know, the urge or the, the, um, the pull can be. Yeah. Just discerning all that stuff. So, so that, say, that's the walk with God piece that I would add, like, yeah, dis, with a wise and discerning heart. A- add that to your notes, mm-hmm. that that interpretation of um, pray without ceasing. For these guys that are coming home, I think that'd be really helpful. I don't think I've heard you interpret it that way before. No, I don't think so from the from the yeah. stage. Yeah. Got to wait till April now to do that. So. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll employ that in April for yeah, that. Yeah, when the lunch. next one is. Yep. Maybe we'll do an advance in the spring. We'll see. We'll see. That's, yeah. that's to be determined for sure right <laughs> now. So, okay. Um, yeah. Let, we'll, you ready to land this thing? We good? No, but we can do it anyway. We should. Yeah, sometimes you got to come in for fuel whether you want to or not. That's right. right. That's so. right. Listeners are uh, probably at their destinations and, yeah, and right. uh, we can get another shot with part two. But yeah, want to... Yeah, I want to encourage you um, as as uh, folks who listen to the Exploring More podcast, you know, pass it along, uh, rate, review, all the good things on the uh, on the platform. Subscribe. Yeah, as tiresome as I uh, uh, I am of hearing it, you know, give us a thumbs up, share us. Just all that helps stuff. us to be found in the it algorithm does. of things. And yep, exactly. So yeah, um, and we're we I don't know what episode we're on now. It's three hundred. It's got to be th- up near three hundred, but. You know, if you're new to the Explore More podcast, the video format's not that old. We haven't been doing this all that long, but we have audio podcasts that go back to 2018. So check out some of our older stuff. It's good. Yeah, our yeah. our browner hair and whiskers <laughs> and our heart. That's right. Yeah. yeah fewer can, wrinkles. Yeah, man, all of that. <laughs> Goodness. So anyway, uh, until next time on the Exploring More podcast. Yeah. Until next time on the Exploring More podcast where we tackle part two of reentry and, yeah. and just, yeah, what are, what are some best practices for how to, how to move around at home uh, as, a, as a father and a husband? Uh, we'll see, look forward to seeing you. Hope we see you next time on the Exploring More podcast. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Exploring More. The landing page for this podcast is zoe.org forward slash podcast. That's Z-O-W-E-H dot org forward slash podcast, where you can find the show notes and various platforms to which we broadcast. You can also find us and the life of more by visiting Zoe on Uversion Bible app, Right Now Media, our Facebook page, and Zoe on Instagram and Twitter. Remember, with God there is always more, and you were made for more. <laughs>